These are Benjamin Franklin half dollars. These are really beautiful coins. The ones you see here in the video are very, very worn. They are very circulated. Uh, I would say that they are not in great condition. Um, they're just regular circulated silver coins. People collect these for two reasons. One, they're coin collectors like me. Two, uh, they believe that silver is a good investment. Um, do I believe silver is a good investment? Uh, maybe. Uh, I guess I do because I have these coins. <laughs> so I'm a coin collector. I love coins. And I think, who knows, right? I mean, no one knows the future. And I love coins. I've been collecting coins since I was a little kid. I think I was 10 years old or younger. I love this coin. I love because... I love it because it has Benjamin Franklin on it, and on the back it has that bell, a plubrus unum, and this is worth 50 cents. You know, you can actually go spend this at a store, which I don't recommend you do, because this costs a lot more than 50 cents. <laughs> so, the prices of these coins fluctuate heavily, especially in such worn condition, because these are typically usually worth their weight in silver. Uh, and that depends on something called the futures market. Uh, the futures market, is an exchange where several things are traded, uh, several contracts are traded, and there's one called the Silver Futures Contract, and that one dictates the price of silver. And as that rises and falls, so do the price of these coins, right? So um, I like these a lot. I think they're perfect for anyone who is into silver or perfect for anyone who is a coin collector. They also make a great gift. I think coins are a fantastic gift for kids. Um, I think, you know, collecting is one of those things that really opens your eyes to a lot of things. I mean, I started collecting when I was just a little kid, and I learned so much about mint marks and about where coins are made and the composition of coins and about different countries because, you know, there's world coins too, and those are really beautiful. And, you know, you learn all kinds of stuff. You know, you can get a coin book and look at all the pictures and start, you know, hunting for coins on the internet. It's a lot of fun. One of the reasons I like getting these on Amazon is because I feel Amazon is quite reliable when it comes to coins. Um, you know, there are uh, situations out there where you can get coins that are not real. It does happen. I've heard stories, uh, but you know, you always hear stories. It happened to me once with the world coin uh, that I bought somewhere else, not on Amazon, and I was able to get my money back. Um, if you're curious how I caught the fake, uh, when you drop this coin, it makes a certain sound. So if you take another coin that's not silver and you drop it, it has to make a different sound. So silver coins make the same sound when you drop them. So the coin I dropped didn't sound like silver, and then I put it on a scale and it was not the weight it was supposed to be. So now these coins do lose some of their weight, but not much. You see how worn it is? So it'll weigh slightly less than what it's supposed to, but not by much, right? Really good size. Let me show you the size of this compared to a quarter so you can see, get some perspective. Here's a Washington quarter that's also silver, and here's a Roosevelt dime that's also silver. So you can see a good, a good comparison there, okay? Really beautiful coins. Um, again, these are the Franklin half dollars. I've always liked these. Um, you're gonna pay more for these if you get them in better condition. These are in pretty bad condition here. Um, but yeah, when the condition goes up, so does the price. Beautiful coins, great for collectors, great for silver enthusiasts. I love them, good luck.